We're finally tackling the castle wall. Cause baby, I can feel the castle. I love the bricks they threw at me. Calling me a mad woman, mad woman. No, I don't really care. I don't really care. Yeah, it's for your time and your business. If I'm a mad woman. Not only are we taking down the castle walls, we're also taking down the bar, the big brown bar. Um, <laughs> big brown bar. So if this is your first video, we have been outside on the back dream porch, making over our entire back porch. We had to build it almost from the ground up. We did have some support beams that we could reuse, but we had to rip up the planks. We had to take off the banisters. We had to basically start from scratch. The weather has not been very cooperative. It is a pretty day, but the wood is still wet, so we have to give it a few more days for the wood to dry before we can start staining it and working on the deck lots. So I normally wouldn't do this and kind of intercept that ser series of videos with a video like this, but because the weather's not being cooperative, we've got to do something. We've got to stay busy around the house because there's too much for us to be waiting on the weather <laughs> before we can do something. So while we're waiting for those to dry, we're going to be working in here today and tackling some of these walls that I've been staring at. I told you on the last video, I've been feeling a little Rapunzel-ish, you know, with this castle wall right here. I just want it to come down. It's beautiful and it's time. It's given 90s. It's given, I can see why. I can see clearly now the walls. So let me have Shane draw you up something real quick and I'm going to walk you through what our intentions are for this main living area and why we're taking down these walls to make it a more open concept. So going in here first with the pastel drawing. So right now he's mapping out the cabinets, where the cabinets are, and he's mapping out where the walls are. So in today's video, we're going to be erasing these cabinets like you see here and just creating that end cap right there. It's an open concept. You'll see what I'm talking about at the end of the video. And then we're also completely disappearing that castle wall. And eventually we're going to be disappearing the wall between the dining room and the den. But we have to be careful with that and we have to be supervised with that because it is more than likely a load bearing wall. Thankfully, I do have a contractor friend who is closely supervising us so that we don't mess up anything and don't get ourselves into a pickle. This wall that you see right here that he's highlighting out, that is the wall that is possibly load bearing and that is not going to be in this video. It's also not going to be disappearing completely. I got something in my sleeve. That was going to be in the video when we do the flooring, which will be in a video very soon. So we're minimalizing this castle wall right here. Shane's getting creative and saying bam bam. <laughs> We're minimalizing that, completely erasing it so that I can have the open concept that I'm wanting. I don't like a barrier to be between the kitchen and the living room. I don't like that. We're also minimizing the cabinets here. And he's going to say something else. What is he saying? Buzz, buzz. Okay. <laughs> he's saying buzz, buzz. So we're minimizing and erasing the cabinets here. And then eventually we'll get to the other wall. This wall was for sure decorative back in its day. It was beautiful, but it is really making the spaces feel super small. And that's not what we want because this house is fairly big. Here's what we're gonna do. What we're not gonna do is go ham and just try to destroy it. Dang it! The last thing you want to do Can is Come on, let's see if I can move it on my own. I can't. I came prepared. Where did you get that from? Yeah. Thunder, thunder, lightning with a thunder. Man, I'm a whole radio today. You have access to FM. <laughs> <laughs> You're only gonna do this with only four tools. I want one. A hammer? No. Yeah, wait, look, we're a team. Any mini money will catch a tiger no. by So if you hard let him go, my mama told me to no. pick the very best one. And you are not it. Back I get up. the crowbar. No, I get the crowbar. We'll see. No, I. It won! Any mini money money! I've been waiting for this. You're, you're interrupting my eulogy. I've been waiting. What's a eulogy? Did I say that? A word? eulogy is usually in that a speech somebody gives like when somebody dies. I've been waiting on this moment since we bought the place. Eulogy. <laughs> Amen. My eulogy. <laughs> Let's remove these mirrors first. That way if I do start breaking stuff, I'm not gonna break. 
Man, you can tell this is definitely older trim because it's just falling apart. I need to get a good thumbnail too. So at some point, like the whole wall needs to fall over or something. <laughs> I'll see if I can work that in. <laughs> Man, look at the old wallpaper. Where? Oh, shit. Well, there's your thumbnail. No, I think it's nowhere in my foot. Put it. Why is it so slippery? That could have something to do. Man, that hurt. I don't know why we're wasting time picking that trim. The only thing holding them are these little pieces of trim. Oh. I'm gonna have you get on that other side and see if you can push the mirror. Let me see if I can push the mirror? Yeah. I got a job finally. That looks like a horror movie. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, push Boy, it. Titanic. Oh, yeah, okay. I gotta remove these door stops in real quick. My door stops. Ooh! Or not door stops, but this is like, this is basically like the trim that they have on the doors. Yeah. And they doubled it. See that? Because there's still trim right here. Yeah. Man, the ADHD lobe in my brain is on one today. All right, we're trying to push the glass again. All right, ready? Oh, I feel it moving. I can feel it coming in the air tonight. Oh, got a few calls on. Whoa, that's another one? Yeah. Another yeah. one. <laughs> Did you get DJ Khaled in there? <laughs> Another one. DJ Kylie. Another one. Hold your horses there. We gotta do this on all three of them. Gimme yo, gimme yo, gimme yo, baby. <laughs> Who needs a radio when they got us, man? You are itching to push that thing. <laughs> now push. Oh! Mean like shove it. Hey, we have a drive window now. Uh, yeah, I'd like a uh, number one large size with a large Dr. Pepper. We got a straight up drive through window in the house now. Oh man, I kind of miss it now. You gonna put it back? No. I don't miss it that much. All right, let's work on getting these other two windows out of here. Wide awake is the way that you left me. Sat beside in your car in the back seat. Wide awake is the way that you left me. Saving these. Dang it! You told me to push. I didn't mean like push. I just meant, you know, just lightly. Dang it! You lose some. You lose some. <laughs> It's been in the background.
when I couldn't see this. So we may have to fire you. Yeah. We no longer needed you. It came out on its own. You were the middleman the whole time. <laughs> Get it, girl. You let that rage out, girl. Oh, that was so clean. Not in this bed. Try to get by, knowing inside I still miss you. To say I'm alright, but every night I still need you. I want you back to, want you back to me. Conditions. This mobile home is 20 something years older than our last mobile home and this mobile home was built so good and the woman took so much care of it that this is insane. It's so clean. Even the wiring work is clean. No moisture problems which we were concerned about because we had dealt with mold when we first moved in here. No termite concerns. The builders and this woman did such a good job taking care of this home and it just motivates me that much more to pick up the baton and like take really good care of it. You know what? Like take pride in it. This is proof right here. People say, oh, you can only get 20 years out of a mobile home. First of all, I know people who live in a 1970 mobile home and it's perfect. Um, secondly, you can get as long as you want to out of it if you keep it up. And this is the prime example of that. This thing is as old as I am. It's 32 years old and it looks brand new outside the structure itself and it looks really good inside this woman took very good care of this house you see the wires are running that way so the good thing is they're on this side of the stud so that means that once we get we'll have to take all the wall off before we can bring it down but what it means is once we take all that wall off we can move the cord over here to the side we turned off the electricity we turned off the electricity we turned off the electricity to this that's so hard to say we turned off the electricity that's the fifth time i've tried that we turned off the electricity to this side of the house on the breaker box so that we could get into this wall and see what we were working with thankfully it was not a mess like we anticipated the stud work still looked really good after 32 years i was worried that we would get in here and find some mold which we didn't i was also worried that the wiring might be a little frayed and stuff which it wasn't the wiring was still perfect the quality of this mobile home compared to our last mobile home is insane and it's 20 something years older than our last mobile home i am so impressed with the quality of this house it's not even funny even getting in here behind the walls has me like whoa because we got into the walls of the last one and i don't know if y'all remember but the walls were bowed out there we, we were missing studs there was like two studs and a whole entire side of the house not really but like a, a big portion of the side of the house it was wild it was not clean i felt a raisin can in my wall <laughs> so, so there was a big difference between this time and last time Trying to laugh when you were the one who gave me the chance to To try to get by, knowing inside I still miss you To say I'm alright, but every night I start the wall, losing my mind And try to pretend I don't want you back to me scoring each side of the castle wall here because half the little part you can see that's 
taller up there that actually meets the ceiling is the part that we're not going to mess with because it is attached to the marriage line. We could take this side off because it wasn't attached to the marriage line and it wasn't a load bearing wall. So we're working on sawing, basically sawing through the two by four that's attached um, and just sawing through it and then scoring the drywall so that we can keep as much of the drywall up on this little wall, the taller wall right here for as long as we can. Because once we get in here and we start making over this living room, all of the seams on the drywall and most of the drywall will be replaced. So we're basically just buying time until then and in the meantime trying to make it look as good as possible. Today's video is wild, y'all. in here with cami while we were doing all this because i thought it, you know it's a huge deal to have your house change a whole lot thankfully it doesn't really bother any of us in the house we enjoy watching it change even the kiddos will run up to me and be like mama this looks so neat or oh my gosh it looks so cool or it looks so different so it's not a bad thing it's not like they wake up in the morning and like wonder where they are because everything changes so fast so they get to see step by step things change so a lot of times i'll have cami in here with us in the background and I'll have him watching us that way it's not like a freight train whenever he walks in and sees such a drastic difference he can watch it as we go and that really helps a lot so moon pie was in here with them and she thought she was helping too but really she was getting in the way and I was going to put her outside with the other dogs and the kids because they were playing and usually somebody asked where Binks and Tater was the other day Binks Tater and Blue Jeans is usually always with Colton sometimes you can catch Blue Jeans around moon pie but if the kiddos are playing the dogs are playing with them <laughs> they're always doing that so and then this is a larger house so in the single wide you could see them in the background while I was moving around and you know sometimes they would follow me around when the kiddos kicked them out of their bedroom because <laughs> sometimes Taylor would get into something and Colt would kick her out of the bedroom and she'd have no choice but to follow me around <laughs> but whenever they have this big large area outside to run on and a lot of times they're outside playing a lot of times they're in the kiddos bedrooms unless they get kicked out and then you'll see them in the main living area it's it's crazy around here but moon pie was in here because I I wanted her to be in here with Cammy, and she was getting in the way. We were so afraid she was going to get smushed. The kids have been really excited to have the dogs in their bedroom, but from judging from the single wide, I give it three more weeks. <laughs> I give it three more weeks before the dogs get exiled again, and they're not allowed in their room. <laughs> Tater is always up to something. Tater is sneaky. She is conniving. <laughs> she is mischievous. She is all those things. So I give it three, three and a half maybe more weeks until they're officially exiled from the kids' bedroom. And y'all will be seeing them more often. I guarantee it. Right now, it's new. It's exciting. You know, they watch movies and Colton always watches movies. He's like, I like Binks laying on my bed because they do that. The dogs do that in the movies. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, but that's Lassie. <laughs> This is our dogs we're talking about. I love my dogs, all four of them. They are my very best friend. There ain't much more other than Jesus and my family that I love more than my dogs. But Tater, don't know her head from her behind most of the time. And Binks, while he is cuddly and lovable and so sweet, and he has that shadow 
energy, you know, the shadow energy from Homeward Bound. He is shadow through and through. But oh my lanta, he is so easily influenced by Tater and her junk. <laughs> so they are double team, double trouble. And Blue Jeans is following right in suit. I'm actually getting Blue Jeans and puppy classes this following month because whoo <laughs> she's too big to be acting like that <laughs> i can handle little mini weenie dogs but a big old australian shepherd th that dog's getting huge i mean she is getting huge she is too big to act that wild <laughs> it took both me and shane wwe wrestling her in the living room floor in order to cut her toenails and we only got four cut now you're playing with the big boys only got some big toys you can know your girls boiled Daddy's got it all solved I was never your choice But I hope you're happy I hope you are happy When I come and go You told me you would not succeed Not like your friends With super wealthy family Tears in your eyes You said Got the castle wall down. It's already starting to look like an open concept house in here, and I'm here for it because the minute I walked in here, when the realtor was first showing it to us, I saw the open concept and I was like, "This right here, She's this like, right here." That's gotta go. I told Shane, I was like, I literally, when we got in the car, I was like, if I move this wall, this wall, and this wall, and I take them out, we're gonna have a whole open concept house, and that is my dream to have a not a mansion, but like a large mobile home open concept kind of thing you know what i'm saying so we moved the castle wall which was not as hard i got a splinter or something that keeps driving me nuts we moved the castle wall which wasn't as hard as we anticipated it to be and it didn't take as long as we thought it was going to take we thought it was going to take a long but time and it really didn't it wasn't attached to the marriage line thankfully so that's good because if it hadn't been attached to the marriage line we, it would have been getting a divorce real quick <laughs> so shane and i got that done in record timing and then now we're working over here on the bar this bar i don't think it's i'm not gonna say anything yet i ain't about to jinx this thing no way no way what were you gonna say Nothing. Just tell me. I was not gonna say tell nothing. Come on, come I was on. gonna no, I was just come on, risk it to get the biscuit. Tell me. I was gonna say hopefully that it didn't take us too long. It wasn't too I don't hard. I think it will. That's real solid. Okay. Well now we gotta knock on wood. That's not real um, wood. I don't think nothing's real wood in here. <laughs> now we're over here focusing on this bar. Like I said, I don't think it's gonna take very long. I don't think it's gonna be very hard. I showed you guys a drawing in the beginning that Shane put together and it's kind of what I wanted him to draw out just so I could envision the open concept, not decorate it or anything like that. I just wanted to make sure I could see what I wanted in my mind on paper because I'm not a very visual person I can't decorate I'm not an extravagant decorator I think it's hilarious that I have such a big platform and a lot of it is circled around decorating I think that's so funny and ironic it's not even funny <laughs> you okay babe no the decorating doesn't come easy to me it's actually quite hard I have a hard time putting what I want in my mind out there kind of thing. So I really have to fake it till I make it and I really have to just wing a lot of things. And a lot of times it turns out really good. And I swear I'm telling y'all, I tell you all the time, it ain't even me doing it, like it's God doing it because he had to put that in my brain. Cause Marina doesn't come up with stuff like, like we've done in our house. Like in our single wide, I couldn't come up with half that stuff. I'm not that creative. So somebody upstairs work, is working in a lot of directions with me, I'm just saying.
saying. There are times when we do things when I'm like, oh snap, I shouldn't have done that. And there are times when we do things and I'm like, I'm so glad I did that. You never know what it's going to be until after it's done. Life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. I'll show you guys how open it's looking in here. Once we get this bar down, it's unbelievable. Like, it looks like we have a whole different house right now standing from the kitchen point of view and I looking out. My living room. It's crazy. Oh, we are. You know what you could put I there know. instead of a bar? What? You could put a hibachi and you could, you know, people sit and watch you cook hibachi. I can't cook grilled cheeses. <laughs> what do you mean, hibachi grill? It's definitely looking open concept in here. And I think it's going to look even more so open concept in here once we get this cabinet and island and bar kind of baby out of here. I wanted to somehow in some way preserve these cabinets for a future project, but I quickly realized when we were demoing them or taking them down at first that they wouldn't last. They were good quality while they were up there. I was really just taking them out for cosmetic reasons. It wasn't because they were bad quality or anything. They were pretty sturdy and I had no complaints about it. The only reason I did have them removed, have Shane remove them, is because I'm dragging the kitchen sort of along this wall right here. I definitely need a bigger kitchen in this house, but I'm going to morph it into something else that you guys will see later. But I needed this space to be open and not be broken off by this bar. It was kind of getting in the way of what I was envisioning this area to look like and I tried to work something around it and I tried to build around it but at the end of the day it was just it was cutting off the vision that I wanted for this area. I wish they hadn't have felt fallen apart because I would have definitely reused them. This brings open concept to a whole nother <laughs> Once we started taking these apart, I realized I wasn't going to be able to preserve them. And then I really wanted to preserve that countertop because I loved the color of it. It was shiny. I know it's not real wood, but it looked like real butcher block. It was really, really pretty. But I soon realized I wasn't going to be able to preserve that either because it started crumbling. When we go to gut the kitchen, I'm not going to do like I did in the last single wide, which is basically paint over already existing things in the mobile home. I'm getting it out and I'm putting good quality things in here as best quality as I can afford in here so that they'll last for years and years and years to come. I'm obviously not going to be able to get like the best of the best because I don't know if y'all have searched around for cabinet prices on the internet, but holy guacamole. I mean, you would have to take out a second mortgage to afford some of those things. So I'm not going to get the best of the best, but I'm going to find the best quality that I can afford, comfortably afford, and go with that in here because I've realized over the last couple of years, quality is everything. Sometimes it's really hard to find quality pieces to go in your home because prices on quality pieces are so high. It is so expensive sometimes. So you've got to really go between is it best to have a lot of not so good quality things or one or two good quality things. And that's what I try to balance nowadays. I try to balance, you know, I, I can't spend an arm and a leg. I've got kids' savings accounts and braces coming up and all these things that, that our money is definitely needed more for those things. So I've been trying to be really smart about that and trying to go for affordable quality pieces for my home. So in my envelopes, with my envelope saving method, I haven't been putting whole room makeovers on the envelope. I've been putting specific items on the envelopes to save for. We're ready to the floor. Y'all wanna see the floor real quick before we go? Let me show you the floor real quick before I go. So I got the style selections and look what color it is. Look how pretty. I'm so excited. That flooring has so much dimension to it. Like it's different colors. Weaved in, woven, woven, waven. Woven. Woven, woven. 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 <laughs> it's a bunch of colors woven into like the grains and everything. I'm so excited. I told you guys I was going with a little bit of a different color scheme than in the single wide. And I am. It's still going to be very me. But it's going to be warmer me. I'm going to be tweaking some stuff up. And also we're doing a lot of bigger things than we did back in the single wide. So that's that'll be a change too. Bougie Farmhouse. Bougie Farmhouse. Bougie. Bougie Farmhouse. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. Booty. It'll, it'll be called Fearfully Created. <laughs> that's what it'll be called.
Thank y'all for hanging out with me. I hope y'all have a blessed morning, even not, whatever it is, wherever you're at. Know that I love you. You interrupted me. That was my own possible. Know that I love you, but Jesus loves you so much more. We'll see y'all later. I'll see y'all later. Alligator. Bye. After a while, crocodile.